Electric potential can be kind of confusing, so let's do a problem involving that. So let's take this setup. We have three charges, two 5 nanocoulomb charges, and one negative 10 nanocoulomb charge. We want to know what is the electric potential at the point here shown in the figure. Okay, we've already got our picture drawn, so we don't have to redraw our picture. We do, however, need to draw some things on here, so let's start labeling things just for convenience. Let's call Q1 this charge up here, call this charge here Q2, and then the bottom corner charge Q3. And some other things that I think we'd like to label are the distances from each charge to the point. So we'll call that distance from Q1 to the point R1, from Q2 to the point R2, and from Q3 to the point we'll call that R3. Okay, so now that we've labeled things, we don't really need to redraw our picture. So the first step we should do in preparing to solve this problem is we should find the distances R1, R2, and R3. From our figure, that shouldn't be too hard to find. R1 is just 4 centimeters. R2 is the length of a hypotenuse of a triangle, and so we can just use Pythagorean theorem to find that. And we get 4.47 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. And then R3 is just 2 centimeters. Once we have all of those distances, R1, R2, R3, we want to solve our system. And to solve, we're going to use the idea of superposition so that the total potential is the sum of the individual potentials from the individual charges, which we can write out individually. Putting all these together and multiplying out, we find that the total potential is negative 2400 volts. And that was the question that we were asked. What is the potential at the point shown in the figure?